Right, I just got done talking about the prickly pear juice as far as how to make it. After I put it all in here, I just fill a glass with ice and I run it through this little strainer and it catches all the seeds. Then what I do with the pulp and the seeds is I just throw it back in the container, let it just add to the flavor. Then like I said, you come up with this brilliant color juice. It's very, very good for you. And the way I would describe it, it's got a little bit of a tangy kind of thing to it. And it's almost like a melon. It has like a, a similar to a melon flavor, but not tart, but tangy. So it's, it's really a good flavor. And it's very good for you. It's got my taste buds tingling like crazy right now. One of the things I did do was I made some jelly out of that. I did the same process. I just mashed them and I ran them through this strainer, a metal strainer first. Then I ran them through a larger one of these about two or three times because I don't want any glockets. And I'm handling these pretty carelessly because I can kind of see one right there. But I don't want any glockets in this fruit to get through into the jam or that juice. These little sons of guns are a nightmare. And once they get in your mouth, you get away from the fallout. And it's just one of those things that's horrible. You'd be working on, working on it with your tongue forever. Um, so I made the jelly, made the juice. This is just some stock um, prickly pear juice that I'm gonna use for some more syrup, which I made this kind out of. And the prickly pear syrup we use on pancakes and, and waffles. Uh, waffles. And this is absolutely excellent. Um, the way I made that was I just mixed the, the uh, juice and the pulp after I really processed and strained it, made sure everything was cool. Um, I mixed that with uh, some sugar and I just kind of kept working it, about a cup of sugar, to maybe three cups of the prickly pear juice and pulp. And I just kind of kept simmering it until it kind of reduced. And it does get thick, especially once you put it in the fridge. So, uh, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like when you chop it up and you mix sugar with it. Beautiful color. Yeah. Incredible. And this is what I've been letting sit overnight. I'm going to make jam out of this. And this stuff is just a, a beautiful the color. smell is beautiful. Yeah. And when you make jam with it, it's even a little more tart because I mix some uh, lemon juice and the pectin with it. So bring it up. that's just some ideas I had for you. This ja uh, jam I'm mixing ac actually with a uh, pear and it's gonna be a prickly pear and pear jam. I'll let you guys know how that is. I did make the prickly pear and apple and prickly